the home we're about to see is one of Gold Coast's most talked about properties. And if the facade is anything to go by, we're going to be in for something special. Designed by renowned architect Paul Ullman and built by legendary builders, MacTech Constructions. The house was created for owner Rose, who wanted to use this challenging site to its full potential. Hello, how are you going? Hi Michael. This looks amazing. Thank I'm you. very excited about this one. Come on in. Thank you. Rose takes me through what has to be one of the most incredible homes I've ever seen. Wow, it's pretty obvious what this house is all about. It's that view. It is. The whole building has been angled towards the view, Michael. It's really about maximising the view and maximising privacy. Have you been through this process before? Because, I mean, looking around, everything is immaculate. You've obviously got Thank some you. experience. Um, I have done a couple of other renovations, um, but this is actually my first build. I wanted to create something from scratch, and I saw the hill, and I absolutely loved the challenge, so... I could imagine it was quite the challenge, because it's on a steep slope, mm -hmm. um, it's very narrow. Yeah. How was the building process? It had its challenges and, um, you know, having such a, a narrow building is always, you know, going to impose some challenges. The access from either side, you know, it, it, was, it was definitely a challenge, but, you know, having such a wonderful, experienced builder that had worked with other hillside projects, you know, he was experienced enough to just know exactly what to do in this environment. Building on a steep side isn't, isn't for everyone. We obviously specialise in building on steep sites. If it's done right, you can see obviously the, the result is amazing. This build was very labour intensive. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of time was spent on the structure itself, but majority of the time was spent on the detail inside with all the timber work. We went for a black butt timber. The use has been very extensive. Um, we've used on the ceilings, the decks, the walls. Um, it's all abutting and joining everywhere. So there's a lot of, a lot of labour and detail that's gone into making all that work. A key feature of the home is the removal um, decking panels on, the, on all the balconies. Those balconies are over living areas below, um, so we had to waterproof those structures and we use James Hardy Secure Flooring for that. It's a lightweight, flexible structure that feels as strong as concrete. You know, we also use that in all the wet areas as well. All the timber that we've used all leads you out to the view. Um, all the lines draw your eye out to the view, um, you know, around the ceiling, around the walls, the floor, as it's all black, but it all pretty much channels you to that, to that view up to Surface Paradise. So we're on a pretty steep block. How have you structured the rooms in this place? Downstairs there's um, two kids' bedrooms and a media room, so that's purely the kids' um, retreat. Um, and then upstairs is my room. You must have a better view. It's sensational. Is it? Yeah. Should we take a look? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's go. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better. The view up here is absolutely amazing. I haven't seen anything like it. I guess downstairs is all about entertaining. Up here in your room, it's all about relaxing. You've got absolutely. a bath on the deck, which is amazing. But even the shower feels like you're showering outside. Staring at the view whilst you're showering, it's, uh, it's really hard to get out of the shower. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> So up here I see you've carried the same angle on the facade the whole way down. You've got the same roof line. The roof line was actually put there to maximise the ceiling space um, that you can actually use on the hill. So it was within council regulations of what you can actually use on the hill. So another unique feature of this home was obviously the facade. Um, mixed with the timber we used the James Hardy's Easy Lap panel which helped us give a panel look with uh, subtle shadow lines. Uh, we decided to, to render some of the, some of the easy lap panel and we texture painted the rest of it to help give it that floating effect with a step in the cladding. It was designed to demand attention. I wanted to create an impact and I wanted to change the landscape of the hill and I really feel like that really has been achieved. Well, it certainly turned some heads. Um, you've put the place up for sale. I have. The attention you've got from that yeah. is unbelievable. It's been overwhelming. Some people have said it's like a spaceship. Some people say it's floating. Whatever the case, it's definitely got everyone talking. And I imagine it will smash records when it sells. And rightly so. This is a genius design for this difficult site. 
and perfect execution in the build and construction. This house has huge wow factor from whatever angle you look at it.